Trav's got a nice, nice long flat seat on it, so it's not bad riding two up. Well, it's more fun by yourself ripping around, but uh, if you want to ride a passenger, 650's got plenty of torque, no problem. This is a fantastic original Survivor. Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and this, my friends, is an absolutely gorgeous investment quality 1970 Triumph 650 Bonville. This particular bike was owned by the same owner since 1972, Thomas Allen Dillon from Enfield, Connecticut. I have the title, clean original title from 1972 in the owner's manual, and this bike was stored indoors, and it's absolutely stunning. We just went through it here at, at our service department. We put a, roughly 40 hours labor into the bike, went through it front to back, uh, had a professional, world-class quality paint job put on the uh, bike by Ed Johansson, who's a um, very well-known local painter who uh, only does motorcycle paint jobs for his friends, and uh, he says that really there's no money in doing them, so. Um, he actually, uh, he's really, really meticulous and this paint job is in fact the nicest paint job on any of the bikes. We have a thousand bikes we've put through our uh, eBay channel. If you look, this is a thousand bikes we, we've gone through in the last five years. Um, over two million views on the channel. This, uh, this particular bike, the paint job is stunning. I don't know if you can see it in, in the, in the, um, in the uh, photos, but this is a, uh, he didn't charge me. $2,000, but he charged me considerably less than that. But this is a $2,000 paint job. Hand uh, painted, painted pinstripes. Um, it's British racing green, original uh, British racing green color. Can you see the metal flake in it, Kenny, in the sunshine? Um, and it's a British racing green with performance white. We actually bought over a 67 Triumph. Uh, it didn't have, this bike didn't have the original paint job on it when we when we got it from Thomas. So I bought over a 67 uh, Triumph and we copied exactly the uh, paint lines that were on that bike and painted it the British Racing Green. The original tank was in mint condition. There was no dents or anything, so that was that was perfect. The rear fender is in great shape, as were the side covers. The front fender had a, had a, um, been modified, so we actually uh, bought a brand new reproduction front fender and mounted that on there. So the bodywork is stunning. The engine is original. This bike has 6,400 miles. Check out the gauges on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the chrome's in beautiful condition. It has an original uh, Wassel Sporting Handlebars. It's a British uh, company that makes the uh, uh, bars for the um, European bikes. Uh, we, again, we went right through the bike. The, um, all the wiring was gone through. It's got a brand new battery. I'll bring it inside. We'll go over the work order with you. Uh, I went through the detail shop, 11 hours of detailing and polishing. This is the original motor. This bike has 6,400 miles. This engine's never been dismantled. Um, Thomas owned this bike since it was basically brand new. It had like 1,500 miles on it when he bought it. I'll have to check the title to confirm, but it was essentially a brand new motorcycle. It was two years old, and he's owned it for 45 years. He's in his 70s now. About a year ago, he called me and said, hey, Ken, I'm thinking about selling my Triumph, and I went out and talked to him. We went back and forth on the price. It took us a year to finally put together a, a deal, and, and we bought it, and I hate to sell it, but we're literally weeks away from opening the New England Motorcycle Museum, and uh, we've invested millions of dollars into the project. January 10th is our opening date for the big building, which you can see in the background here. And we're excited, uh, but we've got to raise some money, so this is being sold. A portion of the proceeds are going to fund the, the museum, of course. And look at the bike. I think the pictures and the, the video uh, uh, tell the story. Um, it is original, all original gaskets, so you can see there's a little bit of leaking on the push rod, rod tube in the back. Um, I've been riding Triumph since, well, geez, my dad had a 72 Daytona 500 when I was seven years old, so since I was a kid, I've been riding either on the back, and then when I was in my early teens, he gave me that 500, so I rode a 72 Triumph in my childhood uh, growing up, and uh, they, they, they leaked a little bit. Uh, this one leaks a little bit. Um, it is a 50-year-old antique motorcycle. The original carburetors were rebuilt. Uh, uh, the air filters were replaced. Uh, well done motorcycle by Lance Merton, uh, our lead British tech here. 
Uh, like, like I said, Lance put um, actually 29 hours in it. He didn't put that much time in it. Didn't need that much. 29 hours of labor going through the bike. Um, it's got a electronic ignition. Beautiful bike. So enough flapping my gums. Let me do a quick riders demo on it for you. It's got a lot of compression. You got to give it a good healthy kick. Um, usually starts first couple kicks. Tick, I forgot to tickle the carbs. You're supposed to tickle the carbs, but uh, then you meant let's do a drive by on it. Want to hop on? We'll, we'll do a drive by. Yeah. Hopefully, Buddy won't follow us down to the street. I always get worried when he goes down there. Starts and idles beautifully. Um, this bike would make a great museum piece if you want to display it in the museum here. We'd love to keep it. Um, we'd also make a I wouldn't mind driving this as a daily rider. It's, it's all air, brakes, transmission, everything works beautiful on it. Uh, original matching numbers bike. What are you doing? Let me let you off the bike here. I almost took off with you on the back. <laughs> hey, it rides good with 450 pounds on it. got done taking this baby for a ride and it's smooth running uh, 1970 Bonville that we just went through top to bottom uh, again the, the complete tin set was taken off stripped down the metal and repainted uh, the inside of the tank was cleaned uh, it has brand new pet cocks brand new fuel lines the carbs are rebuilt brand new uh, air filters on the original uh, casings um, it has a reproduction front fender again the original was obviously not available so uh, we put a reproduction on there because the, the one that was on there was modified. Um, we wanted a stock looking uh, tin set on it. So that's the original tank, fenders, panels. Uh, it's original seat actually too. This is ind indicating the kind of care that Tom took care of this bike. Look at this, it's like an NOS seat, it's beautiful. Um, original 50 year old seat. Uh, all new hardware uh, from Worth to mount the um, fenders, the tank and the front fender. Uh, all new mounting hardware. The bike's been thoroughly cleaned top to bottom. I have the original owner's handbook uh, that Tom got when he purchased the bike in 1972. And here's the title. Uh, Tom was born in 47, so he's uh, 71 years old. Um, he's owned the bike for 45 years. And uh, he bought it from the original owner who only had it for two years. So the um, bike is in stunning shape. Uh, investment quality bike. And uh, I actually have a registration also. It's actually registered until 2018, or 2019. Uh, he was riding the bike right up until when we purchased it from him. And we just took it and went right through it, top to bottom. 
and it's a stunning machine. It would make a great Christmas present for somebody, or maybe for yourself, since we're about 10 days till Christmas. Um, and a nice, nice uh, spring-like day here in New England in the 50s, so to us that's balmy. I don't often get opportunities to ride bikes this time of year around here. So I have the work order, 29 hours of labor, 11 hours in a detail shop. Um, with the uh, paint job, actually we paid $1,000 for the paint job. Um, and uh, the um, parts uh, were, was $1,101 plus the paint job plus the labor. Came to $5,859 plus tax, it was $6,231. Invested into the motorcycle. Um, going through it, front to back. Again, it's got to, uh, also has a brand new gas cap on here. Original cork, uh, this is a European cork uh, style gas cap. Look at this, beautiful. Exact reproduction of the original, it's English made. The inside of the tank looks brand new. There's no rust or, or anything inside the tank. It's beautiful. The tank's stunning inside and out. Um, has a brand new uh, tail light lens on the back here. The uh, tail light was, was painted and polished. All the aluminum on the bike was polished. Um, the license plate bracket is brand new uh, also. Brand new license plate bracket. Um, the handlebars, again, are the Wassel style hand handlebars. Uh, we did a carb rebuild kit, brand new battery, brand new mirrors, brand new spark plugs, brand new filter elements, brand new fuel pet box on the main, brand new reserve, new copper washers, new 90 degree spigot, new pipe nuts, new front fender, new front fender stays, new front fender bracket, um, brand new uh, uh, M-Go reproduction mirror set, uh, a new battery mat for underneath the battery, um, pretty extensive list of, of, of parts, and of course the paint job. And I'm not sure I pointed this out, but here's the original owner's handbook uh, for the 1970 models. It's an almost 50 year old uh, handbook, original, and the title's 45 years old. So just a beautiful bike, the paint job. Can you see, can they see the, the, the depth and smoothness of that paint job in the video, you think? I know it's high def, but it's the paint job is the nicest paint job we've had done yet. And uh, thankfully, uh, Ed was willing to do one for us. He does mostly high-end cars. He does like new motorcycles. We did this as a personal favor to me. Uh, it's a $2,000 paint job all day long. Um, he did it for me for $1,000, which was my Christmas present. The, uh, the um, Made in Eng England logo here on the frame is a reproduction logo. Uh, I put that on there myself personally. Uh, engine cases are in beautiful shape. The original, yeah, I believe these are the original pegs. They look like they're in mint shape. Uh, original kickstand, no issues with the kickstand being broken. Uh, no evidence of the bike ever being dropped. The original brake lever is perfectly straight, as is the, the, the passenger peg. Um, the uh, headlight bucket is perfectly straight. Uh, like I said, no evidence. And uh, according to Thomas, he, he never dropped the bike, so I believe uh, this bike's never been on its side. So uh, truly a, a beautiful survivor. The NADA value on these is uh, just over $12,000 now. It's actually 12900 Hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, so just on, just under thirteen thousand is the NADA. We put roughly half that into the um, preservation and minor restoration work we did on the bike. So uh, absolutely an investment quality bike. You're buying a piece of moto history. Uh, that's an excellent investment. It's a lot of fun to own. Very easy to maintain. Again, the gaskets on the engine are all original. Uh, if you wanted to do a top end gasket set at some point, that might not be a bad idea. Um, but no one's ever opened this motor. It's hundred. Or just leave it alone. It's 100% original and uh, runs good. So um, good luck bidding on the bike. If you have any questions, give us a call. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and God bless America.